Hey guys, what's going on? We're going to be doing problem 1220 from the fundamentals of chapter 12. And this is probably the hardest one in this uh, section before we go into parabolic uh, motion problems. Or pro sorry, project up uh, motion problems, which tend to get easier. Um, so for this problem, we're given, um, <clears throat> you know, we're given the y component or the position function the y direction with respect to x as a function of x right and they tell us that uh, the box has x components of velocity and acceleration of bx minus 3 meters per second ax minus 1.5 meters per second squared at or at x equals 5 meters per determine the y components of the velocity and the acceleration of the blocks at this instant. So, you know, I would encourage you to try to just figure this out on your own. Um, different ways of that we've been dealing with these problems. But you'll be running into a problem if you don't see it right away. Um, so, in order to do this problem, we're going to have to do, um, or apply the chain rule. Which, like I've mentioned, once we get into radial, tangential, um, uh, motion problems or you know finding the velocity and acceleration in the tangential and radial components you'll be more familiar with this but this is really the first time they, they introduce this in the first 20 problem fundamental problems so the chain rule allows us to pretty much get the y direction or the velocity in the y direction by applying some time derivatives to this equation okay um, and this is because, you know, we can, it comes from being able to write this equation in terms of x dx dt, okay? So because we can do that, it allows us to um, do, I believe it's called implicit differentiation to this. So we get uh, 0 0.5 times 2x, so we find the first derivative, so, you know, take the derivative of x squared, so it's 2x, and then apply derivative to x, a time derivative to x, so that's x dot, okay? So if we look at this section right here, you'll get dy dx, which is, again, taking the time, one, one spatial derivative of this respect to x, we get 0 0.5, 2x, right? And then dx dt is just um, velocity in the x direction, right? So that's what we have here, all right? And if we apply that same methodology again, all right, we can, you know, let's write this as, let's actually, let's keep this and just write this as point, and that's 0, 0.5. 0 0.05 times 2, so it's 0.1x x dot, okay? So we take one derivative of this again, right? Let's take the 0.1 outside, all right, and apply the derivatives in here. So remember, we have this and multiplied by x dot, right? So in order to do, when we do the derivatives, we do if you remember u dot or sorry u prime times v plus u times v prime okay so we're gonna have x dot times leave that one alone plus uh, x and then take another time derivative of x dot which is gonna be x double dot which is the same the acceleration okay so we know x dot is just vx, and x double dot is ax, okay? And once you do this, apply the chain rule. So I think in Appendix C of this book, uh, you'll find how to apply the chain rule um, to different uh, configurations of, of the problem, okay? But once we have this, it's very easy because now we just plug in the numbers. Okay, so for Vy, we'll get 
um, sorry, this is point. I keep writing it like so. Point zero five. Okay, so it's point one times x. So position at x is equal to five x equals 5 and then at x equals 5 the velocity is equal to minus 3 All right so this is x and this is x prime right and then from this we get negative 1.5 meters per second so we know that this this box uh, slides down the slope described by the equation so since it's sliding down we know you know it's going to point in this direction and it's going to have a y component in this direction pointing down, okay, and an x component pointing to the left. And then here we have positive to the right, y, uh, a positive y going up, right? So we have the opposite of that going on. And then a, a y. And also do sanity checks like that because we know it's going down. We know it's most likely increasing, um, you know, increasing its velocity. Acceleration might be increasing, right? But also everything should be negative because it, we're pointing down. And then for ay, we have 0.1. So that's going to be minus 3 times minus 3 plus plus uh, position at 5 and acceleration at x equals 5 which is minus 1.5 okay once we do this um, multiply that out in your calculator you should get a 0.15 all right so what this is telling because it's positive this is actually telling you that the box is that indeed it's actually uh, slowing down as it is approaching the bottom of the slide okay and that's and that's it and I don't know why this is lagging so much but yeah oh my gosh anyway so, so yeah so we have the y a y right and we found the y components of velocity and acceleration by applying the chain rule to the given equation of y equals 0 0.0 0, 0 0.05 x squared okay so again review the chain rule in appendix C Go over the examples that they have there. That way you really understand how to apply it moving forward. Okay? And, all right, thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate it. If you have questions or comments, uh, just leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer them. And, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, guys.